Yo, this is Red Planet P coming to you live and direct. Um, I, I got something that's been on my mind, man. I want to speak on it. You know, recently, you know, that, that sexy ass woman, that fine ass woman, Erica Mena, she's been in the news. She's been in the, uh, you know, in, in the news and in the blogs. You know, they say she's a racist and everything. Um, you know, it's kind of unfortunate comment. She, her calling the girl a monkey and everything. That ain't that ain't right, you know. But maybe it was in the heat of the moment. I don't know. You know, what I'm saying I, I I'm I wasn't I didn't even witness the video, so I don't know if it was just in the heat of the moment and they were going at it rough at each other, you know. But it's unfortunate. But I was just thinking about a scenario. This technically doesn't really have nothing to do with Erica Mena technically. But I was just thinking about something. We talk about women being delusional and being uh, unrealistic about relationships. And I was thinking about what if men were unre as unrealistic as the women are? How would they perceive us? What if I, as a chubby dude, big dude, fat boy, whatever you want to call me, was like, hey, man. I want to date Erica Mena. I want to. I want to move in Erica Mena's house. I want to. I want to live with Erica Mena and play PS4 all day while Erica Mena goes out and and works on those um, loving hip hop shows, the reality shows, the movies and stuff she's doing. And I want to. I want to sit back and kick back and drink all day, smoke weed all day while Erica goes out and gets that money, and I just sit on my ass and do nothing. How how ridiculous would I sound if I said I wanted to be a, a house husband or living living dude or a hobo, what is it, hobosexual for Erica Mena, a, a model chick off of the reality show. How dumb and ridiculous would I sound? And let's flip that. That's what these women sound like. When they're 400 plus pounds, they look like apes and gorillas. No connection to that other thing. <laughs> um, but well, let me scratch that. Let me, they're just unattractive. Let me say it like that. Let's be, you know, right. I, I don't mean no offense. They're unattractive. And they want a, a guy like Usher or Shamar Moore or some really pretty boy, in shape, handsome dude. And they want him to pay their bills. How ridiculous is that stuff, man? That, like I said, it would be exactly like my big ass saying, hey, I want Erica Mena to buy me some Jordan and I want to move in with Erica Mena. How dumb, how dumb would, that, would that sound? And that's what these women are doing. That's how far their delusion is going. They're goofy out here, man. We're realistic as men. We know what our limitations are. These women... They want a, a male model that makes a hundred thousand or a million dollars to come and swoop them up, and they shape like the Goodyear blimp. How ridiculous is that stuff, man? That's how ridiculous these women sound. If I was to say that Erica Mena situation that I just laid out, and I say that's who I want, you know how they would laugh at me, and I'm stupid, and I'm a moron, and I'm goofy, and I mean, what's wrong with this ninja? And the women would really go in on me. The women would really be lighting me up on that shit. And they have the most unreal, unrealistic standards. And they would really go in on the situation. I'm not foolish. I know what my limitations are. I wouldn't even say nothing like that. But what my point is, is to show the double standard on this, the stupid delusions that we accept from women and how they would look at us sideways and crazy if we was to say the equivalent what i'm saying in that scenario um getting with um shorty from love and hip-hop is the same equivalent of these women's delusions man these, i mean these unattractive women's delusions, excuse me and these weirdo and messed up chicks if you agree or you disagree with my scenario leave it in the comments and remember fellas as always it's a stick up.